up everybody my name is Matt and welcome to the channel all right so this is a Volkswagen V8 bug build that I did back in the day and I'm gonna show you some pictures along with some videos of the process of the build the engine is just a standard 350 small block first generation with some vortex heads nothing too fancy it has about 425 horsepower Sorry about that, Apollo. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Apollo agrees. Without further ado, I hope you guys enjoy.
All right, ready? <laughs> this is Jesse Live. How do you feel, Matt? <laughs> Badass. Okay, my camera don't go this far. Oh, his door just opened up. We're coming back with him coming back. All right, this is Jesse Live. We're back. Wow, that was amazing. Oh, yeah, that was great. How do you feel? You know, it's just, uh, I barely touched the gas. No shit, huh?
Hey guys, what's up? It's about uh, 7 o'clock in the morning. I just finished painting the fenders on the bug. Kind of want to show you my setup I got here. Nothing fancy. Anyways, here it is. Here's the cover I've got for the garage, which is just about, I think it's five rolls of screen material. Did a pretty decent job of keeping bugs and dust out and even catches a little bit of overspray, which I don't know if you can see it anymore, but it's easier to see it during the night. Let me show you what we got here. So I think I did a pretty decent job spraying the fenders. Um, I had a couple of little snags spraying them, such as this right here. Probably wasn't the best way to spray it. Just bolting up the fenders and having a plastic next to it. There's this spot here that it got into and one other spot that I can think of. Anyways, here they are, all painted. There's a little bit of trash that got in them, but not too much. There are some sags on some of the fenders, which is because of my lighting. You can see here, I got this 200 watt light up there and then these 100 watt little can lights, which are the compact fluorescent lights. I had problems where there was lower lighting, which I'll show you here in a second. But anyways, just kind of wanted to show you how these, these came out. Summit Racing's paint. I put two coats of Hugger Orange and two coats of Clear. It came out pretty decent. You can see a little piece of trash right there in the light. It came out pretty nice for a cheap paint. The gun I used was a uh, Harbor Freight. I think it was like 35 bucks. Here it is right here. The purple Harbor Freight gun. But anyways, it worked pretty good. Set it at 45 PSI to spray everything. And it came out pretty nice. And here's the Summit paint. I think it was about 80 bucks for the gallon. Anyways, it was pretty inexpensive and it uh, sprayed out pretty good. You can see the mess that I made here. Let me move on to some of these other fenders so you can just kind of see how they came out. But they're looking pretty good. There's, You can see a sag right there, which I'll have to sand that out. And then there's a little bit of paint that came off because of the plastic touched it, but nothing a little bit of touching up can't fix. This is my first time to spray. It came out pretty nice. So what I'm gonna do is just hit it with some 400 grit sandpaper to get those sags out. There's really not much orange peel, if any. Looks pretty damn good. But I'm gonna go ahead and sand it with 400 grit and then uh, 600 grit just to get some of the, the garbage out and take care of some of these sags. I mean, there's just little speckles of dust here and there. I don't have the cleanest garage that's why there's crap in the, the paint. I think this fender here had the most problems. You can see some saggage going on right there, so I'll have to fix that. I mean, all in all, it came out pretty good. Not too shabby. Anyways, that's about it.
work in progress. Still working on the interior.
thanks for tuning in and watching what is essentially some videos and a collage of photos, whatever you want to call it, a slideshow. If you're interested in some more of these videos, subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and we'll see you in the next one. I have a El Camino that I did as well, and we'll post that if you guys are interested. Until next time, we'll see you later.